Five swirls is all you need. I hope. Let's see. Just wet the face. Again, we'll see. If that works out, it might not be enough. But we'll see. When I first uh, had uh, this soap on its first use, I loaded the heck out of it. I probably loaded for 45 seconds. And when I went to go put it on my face, it was just like glue, just big strings come on. And uh, I worked the lather for probably, add a little bit of water. Worked the lather for probably 10 minutes. Trying to get enough water into it because it was just so thick. But uh, yeah. Never actually got enough water into it. Um, and I just kind of shaved with it. Super thick. So it was. It was a, a weird shave. For sure. But yeah. Five swirls. Last video with. What soap was that? Was that PAA? I think, I think Phoenix Art is an accoutrement. I did six swirls. I think it was PAA. Um, but you know, five swirls, I think will, will be enough. We'll see for sure. All right. So that's hydrated enough. We're good. Brushes still kind of pasty. So, but should work. Still waiting on the razor from Dallas. It's been there for, uh, five and a half days at this point, uh, six days tomorrow. So, you know, can't do anything about it. I'm just waiting. All right. If you were to get a straight razor from me, it's going to come. Oh, this is my Frederick Herter, by the way. But you see all the little, that's not water, that's oil. I put oil on them um, for travel. And if I'm not going to use it for some time, but I just take paper towel or uh, tissue paper and just wipe it off. That's it. That's all you got to do. And that keeps the keeps the blade insulated from moisture, which is metal's worst friend as far as rusting goes. So, all right, good. There we go. All right, Frederick Herter. This is a seven eighths. Yeah, this is a seven eighths, number forty nine, made in Solingen, Germany. glasses back on or else I can't see a thing this is a uh, uh, it's 
not necessarily an extra hollow, but I would say it's definitely a full hollow. And what that means is there's not a lot of uh, blade behind the edge. I'll show you. There's not a lot of metal behind the edge. So you get that like, you know, uh, knife on toast sound. So you see how it's thick up here, but real thin, like starting about midway down. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't say it's a extra hollow, but I think it's a full hollow. Declaration grooming soap is really good. As far as the scent, I definitely get like a woody, woody scent, um, cedar maybe, uh, maybe a little bit of pine, but it's a clean, I think what would make it much better would be um, like having ozone or something like that in it. Um, and maybe it does have it in there, but I don't smell it if it does. So, but I think having ozone would make it, because, you know, the name of the soaps after the rain, it should smell like after a rainfall, <laughs> but it smells good, um, but I don't know if after the rain is what I would call it, some more water. This is a towel-based soap. Like I said, if you overload it, it will get very glue-like, um, like Ariana and Evans, like any high, any tallow-based soap or high butter soap. Um, because like I said, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement soaps are vegan, so there's no tallow, but they are high in butters. So anything high in butters also has... Uh, the tendency to, if you overload, to have to pump water into it. All right, there we go. Very good. We have a good bit of lather, lather in there for the next, next pass. Like I said, five swirls. Doesn't seem like a lot, I know, but it works. So. Yeah, this Frederick Carter is uh, very nice. I don't know if you can see the sheen on the... It is definitely hydrated. Like Nick said in, in one of the comments, um, United States Postal Service is charging more for shipping, and it's like the slowest ship times ever. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there, but something's happening.
Think I opened myself up right here. Yep. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch. It may have been the uh, the point here. I don't know. We'll be all right. Post shave on this, you know, um, this and Ariana and Evans, you could really go without having a balm or aftershave at all because, you know, tallow based, it's just something about the tallow base. Um, uh, PAA though, which is not a tallow based soap, that's vegan, like I said, I feel like their soaps kind of give me the same feeling, even though they're vegan. And again, I think that's just to do with the ton of butters that they add. So we're going to try to make them a little bit more so we're not struggling on this last pass. Add a little bit of water to it. And the point of me doing, you know, the minimal amount of swirls isn't really to save soap or anything like that. It's more so for me, at least, just to see how low we can go as far as the, as far as the swirl number. Um, five may be the lowest I'm willing to go with declaration grooming. Um, I mean, you know... I'll, coated my face essentially with three passes and there's probably enough in there let's see yeah there's enough in there to do my next uh you know i like to touch up my neck neck brace pass so we're definitely five swirls is definitely enough for three and a half passes um now if you like the big plumy lathers this wouldn't be the way. You probably want a lot more soap. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, I'm getting to that death ring where you can see it on the bottom, like starts to, the death ring. I heard somebody else call it that. That's against the growth right here in this specific area. That way, my hair grows in. Come this. So. Oh yeah, nice. It's the nice thing about straight razors, you can keep that line like straight, you know, do two, I mean right there, you know, the size of the blade keeps my entire left side of my uh, goatee straight. So stretch the skin, 
keep the spine, you know, if this is my face, keep the spine like that. You don't want to do this. You're going to cut yourself. Keep it like this. Go up. Same thing here, we'll keep the goatee straight. And we'll go against the stretching. shave. Let's do a little rinse and see where we're at. Cheeks. Perfect. Right here. A mm, little bit right there. Typical spots that need touching up and that's why we do neck brace. Yeah, just enough lather for neck brace. We are good, guys. That's it. Always make sure you dry your blade. Whenever you're rinsing, turn like this. We do not want water in this pivot. No, 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 no. So when you're rinsing under the sink, have your blade like that and let the water go down. You don't want water in the pivot. It's going to rust out. And you're going to have to rescale it. Not rescale it, but repin it. Take the scales off. So we went with the, uh, like I said, the Frederick Herder, right there. Decoration groomings after the rain. Stearic acid, water, potassium hydroxide, avocado oil, uh, vegetable glycerin, bison tallow, mango seed butter, castor oil, fragrance, sodium hydroxide, uh, lanolin, Bed night clay, a whole bunch of other stuff. The list is the list is this entire section here. <laughs> so it's pretty long. Alright, let's get a good 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 rinse. Oh yeah. Oh we're good. Perfect. Alright, where we at? Let's go with a little bit of a fine platinum. Nice creative in this dupe. This is very spicy, like a very smoky pineapple. Smoky pineapple. Um, ton of alcohol in this, uh, in the fine aftershaves. This stuff smells great. If you don't have any of this, seriously, get a sample, get something, just try it out. All right, guys, that's the shave. Hope you enjoyed.
and I'll catch you next time.